If you follow my channel, you know I love the Latitude line, a no-nonsense business approach from Dell that has been really kicking some you-know-what as of late. I checked out the Dell Latitude 7300, the 7400 2-in-1, and now I've got this. This is the Dell Latitude 5300 2-in-1. It's a 13.3-inch convertible laptop. I love what it brings to the table, a quad-core CPU, a sharp full HD display, great pen support, and a beautiful build that gives it a nice stealth look. Hey everybody, it's Andrew, and this is my review of the Dell Latitude 5300 2-in-1. Coming up. Want to see more videos like this? Why not hit that subscribe button? I know a lot of you are not getting notified when I'm uploading new videos. I'm not sure what's going on with YouTube. Make sure you hit that notification bell. Hopefully, you will be notified every time I post a new video. Now, because YouTube is unreliable, I would also follow me on Twitter and Instagram. I'll let you know when I post a new video on those platforms as well. Now, in the interest of transparency and full disclosure, Dell sent this over for my unbiased opinion. I'm not being paid by Dell. I'm not being sponsored by Dell. All the opinions you're about to hear are my own, and no one is seeing this video before its release. Now, this review unit is on loan from Dell, and once this review is done, I am sending it back to Dell. Now, with that out of the way, let's find out what you get inside the box. Let's open it up. In the box is your extension cord as well as a 65 watt power adapter and it also uses a barrel pin connector. You get some warranty safety information and documentation and of course the unit itself. And I have to say holding it for the first time, I love that sleek iron gray look to this. It has a stealth look to it. That gives it a nice appearance. It's an all metal design and it's very premium and high end. And Dell also sent over the pen. It's a really good pen. We'll talk about that in just a little bit. And yes, it does stick magnetically to the side, just like the Surface devices. Okay, let's talk about the ports. On the left side is your power port, a Thunderbolt 3 port, an HDMI port, and a USB-A 3.1 port. Moving over to the right side is your 3.5mm headset jack, a micro SD card slot for storage expansion. Below that is where your SIM card will go if you choose the optional LTE. And finally you get another USB-A 3.1 and a Noble lock port to lock the device down. It comes in a very thin and light package with a very small footprint, perfect for the business traveler who likes to get work done when they're on the road. The Dell Latitude 5300 2-in-1 runs Windows 10 Pro since this is geared towards business users. It comes with Pro, but I know a lot of you will also need Microsoft Office and I have some great discounts from today's sponsor, LVL Key. Check it out. Today's video is brought to you by LVL Key, your one-stop shop for Windows 10 professional OEM keys, Microsoft Office keys, Game Keys, Steam CD keys, and so much more. Okay, here's how it works. Windows 10 Pro, $15.76. With my special 30% discount code just for my audience, you can bring it down to $11.03, which is a steal. Need Microsoft Office 2019? No problem, I got you covered. I have a 25% discount code, which brings it down from $66.05 to $49.54. That's an amazing price. Ordering is easy and safe. Head on over to lvlkey.com for these great savings and remember to use my discount codes. And I want to thank LVL Key for sponsoring today's video. Now when it comes to the display, you're looking at a 13.3 inch Full HD IPS multi-touch display and it's really good. It has a resolution of 1920 by 1080. I thought it was very sharp and crisp. And as far as brightness is concerned, it came in at 300 nits in terms of brightness. So that means you can use it in both indoor and outdoor use. And that's always good. Now I like to see anything 300 and above. This certainly met that threshold. And it also covers the color gamut really well, 98% sRGB, 74% Adobe RGB, making this a good choice for those creative professionals that do Lightroom, Photoshop, and of course, video editing. 
you get some really deep blacks, really vibrant colors. I'm really impressed with this full HD panel. And I also love the fact that it has some really slim side bezels, a really minimal chin on the bottom, and of course, it does have a space on top to house the webcam. So this is the front-facing camera on the Dell Latitude 5300 2-in-1 which, by the way, I'm really impressed so far, but one thing I'm not impressed with is this webcam. Uh, I'm not really sure why it's this bad, but this is not very good. Now, it's a 720p, 30 frames per second webcam. It seems a bit grainy to me. I'm in a well-lit room, so it should definitely do better, but it's not. So I'm curious to know what you think. Let me know in the comment section below. Now one thing to note, it is an infrared camera so you can log in with face recognition using Windows Hello and work really well. And the power button doubles as a fingerprint scanner, recognizing my finger pretty much every time I used it. Another great way for Windows Hello login. It worked well. Now Dell makes it really easy to access the inside of this laptop. All you need to do is loosen the captive Phillips set screws, remove the bottom plate, and you're pretty much in. Now once inside, you'll notice that 60 watt hour battery, that's on the larger side, so that's good. I'm expecting good battery life out of this. We'll cover that later on in this video. As far as what's upgradable, the RAM is upgradable. There's an extra dim slot, as you can see here. It's DDR4 RAM, so that's always good to see as opposed to DDR3. You could also swap out the Wi-Fi card, and there's also a space for for the optional LTE, that's where the modem will go. And of course, you could swap out the SSD, although you get some pretty good reads and writes. The writes itself could be a little bit higher, but nonetheless, they're still good. Now, as I mentioned earlier, Dell also sent over the Dell Active Pen. It's a $99 accessory, which certainly isn't cheap, but I think it's well worth it if you definitely take notes or sketch out artwork on your two-in-one convertible. It has 4,096 levels of pressure sensitivity, and I have to say it worked really well. I also like the way it felt in the hand. It felt really premium as well. And I appreciate the fact that it does stick magnetically to the side, although when you do traveling with it, put it in your bag so you won't lose it. Now, of course, this being a convertible laptop, you can put it into the different modes. You can put it into the tent mode. This is great for recipes in the kitchen, consuming media such as Netflix and YouTube. Same goes for the stand mode. Now, of course, if you want to use it with the pen and the tablet mode, this is a really good choice, although it is a little bit on the heavy side. But again, for a quick note here and there, it certainly worked well. But for extended periods of time, I would use it on a desk or a table. Now for the most part, it worked really well as a tablet, but one other thing you'll notice on this is that there is a gap when you put it into tablet mode, as you see here. I kind of wish it was flush and there was no gap, but it worked okay and it's not a deal breaker by any stretch, just something to keep in mind. Now, I actually really like the keyboard, although it's a bit on the shallow side in terms of key travel, but there's good spacing between the keys, good comfortable typing for extended periods of time, and it does have good tactile feedback. Now, I'm also glad to see that this does have a multi-stage backlight. This allows you to get work done in a dark room or a dimly lit environment. Now my review unit is powered by Intel's Core i5-8365U. That's the Core i5 with V Pro. It's a quad-core CPU. This is a chipset we don't normally see very often, and I'm glad I got a chance to check it out because performance is actually really good. And as you can see from the numbers, it did well. The PC Mark 10 test, which is a good indicator of everyday use, did well, showing that it can perform really well for things such as Microsoft Office, web browsing, email, and the like. Now, if you want to do some video editing, you can definitely do 1080p video editing on this, but I wouldn't do any 4K video editing unless you connect to an external GPU via the Thunderbolt 3 port. Now, one thing I wish this did have was a dedicated GPU option. Unfortunately, you're stuck with the UHD Graphics 620. And it's also great for consuming media, watching Netflix, YouTube, and the like. Now, when it comes to gaming, while well, this is really not a dedicated gaming laptop, there really is no dedicated GPU option on this, of course. So you won't get some really good playable frame rates unless you play some of the older titles and lower the settings. Then you can obviously play those games. But if you want to play some of the more modern titles, which require a lot more graphics horsepower, this really can't handle it unless you do connect to an external GPU via the Thunderbolt 3 port. But of course, that will add to the overall cost of the laptop. Now, when it comes to the thermals, it actually did well. Now, when it's under normal load or when it's idle, you'll see that it does have some pretty nice temperatures. It doesn't get too hot or too warm. Now, if you're really stressing it out, when I say really pushing it, playing some really heavy duty games or really trying to do some work on this, it will start to get warm, but that's typical of any thin and light laptop with a thin chassis. Now, the fan will kick in under heavy load, but it wasn't overly loud and it wasn't too distracting, so that's good. 
The Latitude 5300 2-in-1 has some pretty amazing battery life. I have the 4-cell 60-watt-hour battery, and it did 14 hours and 11 minutes on my continuous web surfing test on par with the Latitude 7300 that we looked at and the Latitude 7400 2-in-1 all did over 14 hours. This is pretty exceptional. And if you do need to plug in, they do supply you with that 65 watt power adapter, which will give you 60% in one hour. But if you get the 90 watt adapter, optional upgrade, you will get 80% in one hour. The Latitude 5300 2-in-1 is a military standard A10G certified laptop. That means it underwent several tests including shock, vibration, pressure, sand and dust. This is one laptop that can take a licking and keep on ticking, that's for sure. But one thing you will notice is it does collect fingerprints and you will be wiping it down every now and then. Now, business laptops tend to not have great speakers. This, I would say, has average sounding speakers, which wasn't too bad. They did get pretty loud, although there wasn't really that much bass. But that's typical of any business laptop. But again, these are not terrible. Definitely usable when you want to listen to some music or watch a movie. So to wrap it all up, can I recommend the Dell Latitude 5300 2-in-1? Is it worth your hard-earned money? And the answer is absolutely. This is an excellent choice, especially for the road warrior who needs to get work done on the road. I like its sharp full HD display, very good keyboard and touchpad, very good performance out of that Core i5 with vPro, and I love the fact that it's user upgradable. Pretty much everything can be replaced. And I like the fact that you're getting some really epic battery life if you go with that 60 watt hour option it's definitely worth it now a couple of negatives here there's no shutter switch for the webcam and speaking of that webcam it's pretty subpar but this pretty much checks all the boxes so if you need a great travel laptop that gives you a lot of versatility and some epic battery life this is your ticket so what do you think about this bad boy the dell latitude 5300 two in one an excellent choice for not only the business user but the average consumer as well this is a pretty versatile device it's a pretty nice looking device stealth look on this is really sleek i really love what it brings to the table as far as versatility whether using it in the stand mode in the tent mode of course in the tablet mode with the pen and of course laptop mode this really worked excellent it's a nice thin and light design with a small footprint so if you're the business traveler or the road warrior this is one you could throw into your bag i have the core i5 with vpro and performance was very good you're going to get some good thermals out of this and it's a great productivity machine allowing you to do microsoft office email web browsing really well now where this really shines is its longevity the battery life is off the charts you're looking at 14 plus hours uh, on my continuous web surfing test that'll certainly get you a day plus on this and it really does charge pretty fast if you get that 90 watt power adapter you can use the dell express charge which will give you 80 percent in 60 minutes that's pretty nice and i really have to say the sound on this is also pretty good i'm really happy with this overall a really nice two-in-one convertible that i think you need to look at so please hit the like button please subscribe please share this video don't forget to leave a comment in that comment section below let me know how i'm doing let me know if there's a device or something out there you think i should review i'll do my best to try to make that happen Happen. Don't forget to check me out on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and of course my website, amdtechreviews.com. So until next time, this is Andrew from AMD Tech. See ya.